Hello everybody, Elias5891 here with another Katane module tutorial. This time we're covering the new bitmaps module. Uh, now this bit, the bitmaps module has been out for a while, but there's recently a major change to it. Uh, among other things, it added some uh, monochromatic color to it. Uh, but it also changed up the rules some. So let's take a look at it and uh, see how it works now. Uh, as a note, I do have the widget extender, so you're going to see more edge work than normal. Uh, this one does require edge work pretty heavily now. Uh, so let's grab that first. We have oodles and oodles of batteries, uh, eight batteries and five holders. Uh, indicators, we have a lit bob and an unlit end. Uh, ports, we have DVI, PS2, serial, parallel. And serial number, Alpha 29, Foxtrot Bravo 7. Alright, uh, before we dive into actually looking at one, let's take a glance at these rules. Um, as before, you're going to have an 8x8 grid cut into four quadrants of 4x4 four four cells. Uh, each pixel is white or black. Black cells are black, white cells are whatever the lighter color is. Uh, green, purple, yellowish, reddish, bluish, dark purplish. Uh, whatever color is not black is white according to the rules here. Uh, you got buttons, one, two, three, four always. Um, and you're gonna go through these rules starting at a certain point, wrapping around until you find a rule that applies. That particular rule will give you instructions on how to determine what number you need. In the old version of this module, all you had to do was tell how many white or black cells were in each quadrant, and that's still important here. Uh, but there are two rules that look at something else. I want to glance at those real quick so we know what to look for when we're giving out information as a diffuser. Uh, rule two here, if exactly one row or one column is completely white or completely black. Uh, looking at my bomb here, this is a rule that does not come up a ton. Uh, it does not appear that we have it on this bomb either. That's okay, maybe we'll see it on one of the later ones. Uh, this one is very close though here. Row 2 is almost all white. We got one little black cell, kind of messing that up. But that's one of the things we're going to look for and tell our... If we're the diffuser, that's one thing we're going to tell our expert as well. Hey, I've got a row or column that's all white or black. Uh, the other option is for rule 8 here. If there is a 3x3 three three square that is completely white or completely black, uh, we're not going to worry about what to do with that yet, but to show that, uh, I believe I did see one of those back here. Uh, perhaps I did, perhaps I... Ah, yes, right here. Notice we have a 3x3 three three grid of white cells right here. So this is something we're going to be watching out for as well. Uh, personally, when I do this module, I just tell my expert I've got this or that rule that will apply if we need it, and they can tell me the rule for it. Uh, it's up to you how you want to do that, but that's the way I personally like to do it. So keeping in mind those other two things we're going to look for, uh, let's give out a, one of these and kind of work through it. Uh, as the diffuser, you're going to want to give the number of white or black cells in each quadrant. I typically like to do that in reading order, so quadrant 1, 2, 3, 4, which is not normal quadranting, but that's okay. Uh, and be sure to specify which one you're counting. I like to count whichever is smaller, so in this case I'm going to count black, it looks like, is smaller. Uh, so in this one we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 in the first quadrant. 1, 2, 3, 4 in the second quadrant. Notice the thick line separating them. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that is my set of black counts, my four quadrants. Because some of these things also ask about the white, I'm going to go ahead and calculate those as well. I don't need to give those out though, my expert can calculate them because each square has, or each quadrant has 16 squares. 
So 16 minus the number of black cells equals the number of white cells, or vice versa. So 16 from 8 is 8, 16 from 4 is 12, 16 from 7 is 9, 16 from 7 is 9, and that is my set of uh, numbers. And I didn't tell them that I had a row or column. Like I say, I personally will make sure to say that. They may, they may ask for clarification. Uh, now with this table, we're going to start at the rule. We're going to start at the rule whose number equals the last digit of the serial. Last digit of the serial is a 7, so we're going to start at set rule 7. If there are exactly as many mostly black quadrants as there are unlit indicators. Well, none of these are mostly black, so that's 0. I have one unlit indicator, so that does not apply. So we'll go down to the next one. If there is a 3x3 three three square, I may ask my diffuser if I don't know if he does this or not. Hey, do we have a 3x3 three three square? No. He'll tell me no. We move on. If there are as many mostly white quadrants as mostly black quadrants, this is a exact match. Uh, zero black, three white, so that's not the case. We loop up. If exactly one quadrant has five or fewer pixels. Nope, they're all well above that. If there are exactly as many mostly white as lit indicators. Uh, one lit indicator, three mostly white, so that's false. If ex exactly one row or column is completely white or completely black. Uh, does not apply. If there are fewer mostly white than mostly black. Uh, definitely not. There's more mostly white. If the entire bitmap has 36 or more white pixels. Uh, well, let's see. It has 8, 12 is 20, 29, 38. This is actually a true condition. Uh, so what's the rule here? The answer is the total number of white pixels, which we just said was 38. So our answer is 38. Obviously, we're not going to punch in a 38 as an answer. Uh, like a lot of other modules that have a limited number range, uh, we're going to find the answer, and then we're going to repeatedly subtract 4 until we get an answer between 1 and 4. So we're going to cycle. Uh, we might also need to add 4 if it's a 0. Which could happen. Uh, as such, uh, I said the answer was 38. Uh, so we can keep subtracting 4. That's the same thing as dividing by 4 and looking at the remainder, though. So that would be 2. So my answer is 2. Alright, let's look at another one. Uh, let's do the one beside it. Black counts are 3, 6, 10. Quite a few. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 10. 10. Whew. A lot of black cells. White cells are 6, 7, 6, 6. Again, we start at rule 7. If they're as many mostly black as unlit, this is now 4 mostly black versus 1 lit. Nope. 3x3 three three square, doing a quick double check, nope. As many mostly white as mostly black, no, numbers are not equal, 4-0. Uh, exactly one quadrant has five or fewer white pixels, nope. As many mostly white quadrants as lit indicators, 0, 1, nope. One row or column completely white or black, nope. If there are fewer mostly white quadrants than mostly black quadrants. This is true, there's zero mostly white and four mostly black, so there are fewer mostly white. The answer is the number of mostly black quadrants. That would be all four of them, four. Uh, let's flip to the back, let's do, oh, here's another three by three grids, let's do this one. Uh, and let's hope that that particular rule kicks in, I think it will. Uh, black counts in this one are five, four, <laughs> 8, 8, which give me white counts of 11, 12, 8, 8, starting at rule 7. Uh, if there are exactly as many mostly black as unlit, 0 mostly black, 1 unlit, not true. If there is a 3x3 three three square that is completely white or completely black, yes, we do have this. The answer is the x-coordinate, starting from 1, of the center of the first such square. Well, 
my x coordinate starting from the up here is 1, 2, 1, 2. So my x coordinate is 2. And that one's done. This one uh, is 4, this will be the last one I think we do on this one, 4, 10, 8, 8, which gives us 12, 6, 8, 8, uh, start at rule 7, if there are as many mostly black as unlit indicators, oh, this is true this time, there's one mostly black and one unlit indicator, the answer is the number of ports, which was 4. All right, I think that's good on this bomb. So let's back out of this bomb. We'll pull up one more, maybe do one or more, one or two more together. So let's pause and get that up. All right, we got a new bomb. Let's get the edge work again. Uh, five batteries and three holders this time. Uh, unlit sig. Parallel serial parallel RJ and serial number nine alpha two Julia Zulu seven. Uh, we'll look at three on this one. We'll do this bottom row here, starting with green uh, as the diffuser. I'm gonna count up black cells. Uh, we have five, eight. Nine five, which means my white count is going to be eleven eight seven eleven. Uh, so, by coincidence, we are again starting at rule number seven. That's okay. Let's mark mark that. Uh, if there are exactly as many mostly black as unlit indicators, there is one mostly black. There is one unlit indicator. The answer is the number of ports. That is one two three four. Blue. Let's do this one. Counts are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which is 10, 10, 9, 11 in the white section. And I do have a row or column that is completely one color. Notice this top row here is all white. Uh, if there are many mostly black as on the indicators, there's zero mostly black, so no. If there is a 3x3 three three square, there was not. If there is many mostly white as mostly black, uh, 4 to 0, that's a no. Exactly one quadrant has 5 or fewer white pixels, nope. If there are exactly as many mostly white as lit indicators, 4 to 0, nope. If exactly, oops, if exactly one row or column is completely white or completely black, hey, hey, we have a rule. Uh, the top row, which would be my first row from the top, is mostly white, so we're going to hit one. And let's finish up with this one. Uh, counts are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, gives me counts of 7, 5, 10, 7. Uh, again, starting at rule 7. Uh, mostly black as unlit. There are three mostly black. That does not match my one unlit. Next, three by three square. There is, and I should have mentioned that as a diffuser. Uh, we want the x coordinate. By the way, the x coordinate is the uh, number of columns. If I didn't specify that last time, uh, the x coordinate of the center. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh. So seven minus four gives me three is my answer there. And that is the new bitmaps. Um, uh, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, or suggestions, leave them down below as always. Until next time, it's been Elias. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Don't explode. Bye, guys.